So, as I begin to process another mystery skanky lump, um, quite a few people have said they would like a comparison using this hokey cokey system I got here for two bits of wood, one gets pressure, and one don't. So, see what I can find. Two bits of wood, two bits of oak, very similar size, very similar type of, what can I say, lack of dryness. And I'll put one in the thing. Pop under a little cranky, and then the other one I'll just drop in, and I'll come back tomorrow and see if after I take it out, how long it takes to dry, in order that if I take a section down through, no, if, I'm, if I um, cut it down through, hopefully we'll see if there's any difference. I just I just think if, if I'm getting all that air out. Summer going on, that's better than just leaving it in the sink. So, let's set up my hokey cokey system because that's all it is. It's just that, 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 that is in there. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It's going to be the one in the right hand. No, that one. That's the one that's going in there. And the other thing is I need to um, weigh it down with something at some point, but it's, it fits, so hey, it'll do. Put that down there, put that on top of there. I'm keeping this in a wallet so I don't get too much crap up the pipe. No, Funky, it isn't. down with something metallic. Go on like that. Sit down there like that. The weight discs are a bit um what's the word? Big. That looks suitably chunky. with holes in it. I'm going to find something a minute in order to put it on there and weigh the thing down. It's in a bit. Girt fat washer with a coach bolt on it. Locked up finger tight with that. Oh Williams. Find a spanner. be organised in here one day. There you go. Nipped up. Good bit of room. So. Just fits in the chair. And he can pick up the nut at the top of the bottom of the thing, yes. So that contraption is hoofing that down. The perfect thing would be like um, a big round plate with holes in it. A bit like the weird tool they use when they purge uh, a crucible of molten metal. Take, take the slag and aerate it out when you put the degassing towels in. It's one of them funny little sort of kitchen spoon with holes in sort of work. Oi. 
it was hokey. Every time I do that, there's a big bubble comes out of it. And you end up trying to chase the pressure. Something's brewing in there. That's weird. All right. I shall keep it going. I don't knock it off me, young Clinton. I'll see you in a bit. I did this eight times yesterday. Pressure drops and you just keep pumping. Suddenly dawned on me when I put them in the jam jar. How will we differentiate one from the other? Because the one that hasn't had the vacuum will have ever so slightly beveled shoulders at one end. So the one that hasn't had the vac has had the corners knocked off. Goodbye, Columbia River nice tool prowler. Put that there. Carry on pumping, baby. I should have four hundred eight pop eight when you finished. Or either that or RSLE. Blimey, my wrist hurt. Now you put that on my finger the other day, so I pumped it and then felt as to how much suction it felt like on the end of my finger, on the end of the pipe. It's not that big. I bet if I put my mouth on it, I'd probably be getting about 25 millimetres of HG. And still the bubbles come. is the levers because there's two pieces of metal might be able to get you close there's two pieces there that are basically doing that this one is bent so I'm still pushing it back what I'll end up probably doing is if I can make it last is drill a hole through the two pieces and bolt them back together to keep them two because he's just going drift But you literally could sit here. I suppose pumping for 25 30 minutes. And I'm getting bubbles up into the pipe now. How that's getting up into the pipe? if you've got more than 25 pound I spent um, for a ton you can get a good in sort of motor oh yes I have oiled it at the points where the metal meets metal if anybody thinks oh, yeah, I'm it. yeah I have I have oiled it Strange 
fermentation tank. Now he's push his plunger and then it's all equalized. There goes the gauge and I should be able to take that off. Without my world exploding. Cool. Now I could glue that on there, but I want to be able to keep this clean in here. So, so it dies a death, probably tomorrow. Put that there like that. And the one with the chamfered off shoulders. Last a week? I don't know. It's experimenting. But um this one here I had done from yesterday. Just looks different. I'll get a better light for you, so appreciate what's going on here. Lift you up. I think it's slightly harder. It does look nice. Right, thanks for joining me again, and uh, we'll see the um, scientific results tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be a bit different. I'm sure that the oil will go in deeper, better than if it was just soaking. That's my brain. I've always why would that process be there? I know it's a bit hobby in a shed, but I had 25 quid and I thought I'll have a little play with it and I'll start churning them out. Plan B, I'll put maybe four fire steels in there. I don't need to weigh them down because the metal's in the rod. Four go in, pump it up, leave it in the corner, pressure goes down as I'm grinding something else, walk back over. Doo -doo 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 and just keep them going like that rather than literally I'm stood here for half an hour just doing nothing but that but don't know don't try don't try don't know see you in the next one let's go find six blades